Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my September monthly plan with me, which I filmed this yesterday, which was the 22nd of September. So I am filming this towards the end of the month as always, but I hopefully will have this up before the month ends. Um, so as always, I'm using a kit from Crest Press. So this was the Wildflower kit and I did get the decorative sidebar um, along with the kit. I do think there were some fashion girl options for the sidebar, but I just didn't really like the fashion girl, so I ended up going for the scene instead. So just starting off by putting in my base, so I'm just covering in, covering up the days not in the month and adding the top strips and the decorative sidebar. So just doing that now, which I'm just trying to remove the stickiness of the back of the stickers because I do get these kits in premium matte and I'm also very bad at putting my stickers down straight. So yeah, I'm just doing that and um, Yes, yeah, so for this side of the page, there was two days not in the month, but there was only one that was technically in the pattern as the top header. So I ended up pulling this one that was from the kit, I think, or from the separate little sheet that has the boxes, which really has the fox on it, and then just putting in the sidebar and the top bar for the other day. The other, wait, the other side of the spread. What am I saying? Top bar for the other side of the spread. What am I trying to say? Sorry. I'm always a mess when I'm doing this voice surface because I think my brain works faster than my mouth does. So anyways. Um, so then starting off, I think I put all my bills first and then I think I also added in my work schedules, my work schedule for the days that had bills. Um, and I also put in some holidays that were in the kit. Um, so I ended up marking in Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, which are both Jewish holidays. I am not Jewish, but we do have um, friends that are Jewish. And those stickers were in the kit. So I thought, why not use them, I guess. Um, so yeah, and then just putting in, like I said, my bills. So I put in my Apple Music bill on the 6th, as well as my work schedule that day. So that work sticker is from... Plan is anonymous. It was left over from a kit that I had used and then I marked in my phone bill on the 7th, my health insurance on the 15th, and I believe I also marked in my work again with a work label from Planet Pixie Co. And then on the 20th, I marked in that my charity donation came out. It was supposed to come out on the 15th, but for some reason it didn't come out until the 20th and I still haven't actually received my raffle tickets because part of the donation is that you get raffle tickets um, for a monthly raffle that the charity does. So I will have to email them about that. And then I also did mark um, my work schedule again on that day. And then moving to the other side of the page, I am marking in my iCloud and I realized that I forgot to put Vicky. So I do end up putting that down as I like plan my spread. Um, so yeah, I marked in iCloud and then my work schedule for this weekend, which I'm working <laughs> the long weekend which I'm not very excited about because it's going to be really busy, I think. Um, and then I just marked in my recurring payment, which is my Pilates membership. So I just used the washi strip and I didn't actually put like a box for it at the time because I didn't know which color I wanted to use because I was trying to do something where I like space out the colors and patterns, which I do really like how it turned out in the end, but yeah, that's why I decided not to put a box for that yet. So moving on to the day by day, I believe, I think here I was just trying to work out something possibly. Or I might have just been going to grab a sticker, I think. But yeah, I think here I was just trying to find a sticker. But anyways, so starting off with the day by day, on the first I had a driving lesson, so I just marked that in with the car icon from the kit and obviously the label from the kit. So I think here I was just trying to work out which color I wanted to start off with. Um, and then the pen that I filled the stickers with um, is the Uniball Signo in 0 0.7 and then I wrote on the paper I believe with the Pilot G2 in 0 0.38 so yes I just marked in my driving lesson and then I marked in payday on the 8th with a flag from the kit and then I went back to the 5th so the 5th was Father's Day so I used one of these squared boxes from the kit and then I used the Happy Father's Day sticker which was from the Carpe DM sticker book and then I also marked in my work schedule again with a label from Planners Anonymous. And then I also added in the balloons from the kit just to mark in that it was kind of like a celebration I guess because it looked kind of plain otherwise. 
Um, and then on the 6th I marked in that we paid for driving because I do pay for my lessons um, in installments because I pay I buy like 10 lessons at a time so we had to pay for the driving and then I had another driving lesson on the 7th so I used the um, car icon from the sticker party over at my label and I also marked in the new moon because I do like to mark in the new moon and full moon of the month in my planner so I used the asterisk from the kit for that and then here as well you see me put in the label and the car icon for driving which I think one of the days that I marked driving I forgot what time my lesson was so I ended up marking that afterwards but I do like to have my driving um, schedule in my monthly spread because I tend to look at this first and then my weeklies because I tend to plan like I tend to back plan my weeklies um, but yes the my monthly spread in this planner isn't really that up to date because I have been using a bullet journal system and so I've been using my monthly spread in that planner more than in this planner so yeah that's why I um, didn't have everything written down like I normally do so yes and then on the 8th I marked in the third season of American Crime Story um, impeachment that was like the debut um, the premiere I guess so yes I have been watching and I don't know I don't love it as much as previous seasons um, just I think because the pacing is a little off but um, I'm the storyline is quite interesting because I was a baby when the whole um, Clinton Monica Lewinsky thing happened so I don't really know a lot about it so um, yeah it's been interesting from that side of things but yeah and the acting is really good as always but yeah I just think it's a little slow but who knows it might pick up in the next few episodes or it might just be I guess the theme of this series this season is that it's just going to be a little more slow because there's a lot that it has to kind of go into but anyways so then on the 13th I marked in driving and then I also marked in that 80s um, had their comeback which I really enjoyed and it was their first comeback um, with Minky since he went on hiatus for mental health reasons so that was very exciting that he was back um, and I really enjoyed the the album so yeah so the car icon again is from the sticker party and then on the 14th Wano had his um, come back with his third mini album which I also really enjoyed and the title track was really fun and sort of bright and cheerful and then I did also go and get my nails redone so I used the nail polish sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that in so yes I got my nails refilled which you can see in this video they are so cute and I've had lots of compliments at work <laughs> about my nails everyone's like oh my god I love your nails they're so cute so yes and then on the 15th I marked in that I got my first um dose of the Pfizer vaccine which was very exciting to get um, because I believe my age group um, got added to the rollout in August and I had originally booked an appointment for the 25th um, which is the long weekend um, but I had a doctor's appointment towards the end of August and they were like oh actually we're we're offering the vaccine and we can get you in earlier so that was good so I ended up basically getting in um, a week earlier for my first dose so now I will be getting my second dose on the 6th of October so I will be fully vaccinated in October which is very very exciting so yes I marked that in with the um, stethoscope, icon, stethoscope icon from the kit and then my camera died so that is why you saw me trying to refocus it and then on the 20th again I marked in driving with another sticker um, from the sticker party and then I marked in the full moon on the 21st using the flag from the kit and then on the 22nd was payday because I do get paid um, every fortnight on a Wednesday and then I also had another driving lesson so I marked that in with the um, car icon from the kit and then the payday flag is from the kit as well so I'm just putting that down and then I think I marked in everything for the 27th afterwards so yes, on the 27th is the Queen's birthday public holiday in my state, which funnily enough, it is not the same in every single state. Um, so I believe in like the East Coast, it's in June, I think. Um, but here in WA, we celebrate the Queen's birthday public holiday on the 27th. Um, so yeah, it's the long weekend. And I think that the grand final is also this weekend, like this long weekend. Um, and it's also the beginning of the Royal Show, which is like a little 
I guess like a, a fair or something that we have. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll be going. I haven't been in many years, but yes. So I marked in um, the Queen's Birthday public holiday just with um, a label and the little house icon. And then AB6 is having their comeback, which is super exciting. And I also have to work that day. So I marked in work with um, a work label from Planet Pixico. So then moving to the other side of the spread, uh, I marked in going to the podiatrist on the second, and I also marked in um, another K-pop related comeback, which is um, Ace, who had their repackaged album, um, which I really liked the title track of that. Um, but for, unlike most groups that do a repackage, it was mainly just like re-releases of previous songs. Um, so I think they had um, the Korean version of a song that they had released in English and then an English version of a song they had released in Korean and like a remix of like a previous song they had released and then um, I think the the title track which was a new song and I think they had one other song on that album possibly but yeah it was like an interesting repackage um, considering how they normally go and yeah like I said I marked in going to the podiatrist so both of those icons up from the kit and then here I marked in my Pilates membership payment um, which is $50 a week. It is quite a lot, but um, it bre breaks down to about $25 per class. So, I mean, it's not that bad, but I mean, it is expensive, but um, I do reformer Pilates. So obviously it is going to be a bit more expensive just because of um, the equipment and like the maintenance and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, and I have really been enjoying it. I don't know how much longer I will be doing it though. Like I think we've tried to stick with it till the end of the year and then we'll kind of reevaluate it with the budget and whatnot because obviously like I said it is kind of expensive um, but unfortunately the gym closest to me is no longer a gym and is now one of those like high intensity circuit training kind of things so they end up costing about $50 a week as well um, because they kind of intend for you to go every day so I don't know because the theory the theory the what am I trying to say like our thought was that we would maybe quit and then get a gym membership instead or something, but I don't know. Anyways, I also marked in that part five of Money Heist released and I also marked in going to the osteo. And then I think here I was just marking in my work schedule for um, the remaining days that I didn't put in. So I worked the 10th for five hours, which was kind of a spur of the moment shift. And then I also worked um, the 17th and 18th, which was just my regular shifts. So. Yes, and then I marked in um, another K-pop comeback, well, I say comeback, a, a debut, I guess, but um, yeah, on the 9th, because Hyuna and Dawn had their debut as a duo, but both of them had previously debuted as solo artists, and then Dawn was also a member of Pentagon previously, um, but yeah, it was really exciting to see them work together again, because they were previously in a group together um, that was disbanded, so yeah, it was good to see them work together and I really enjoyed the song and hopefully they get more opportunities to um, release music together because they are really good together and they are, you know, dating in real life. What well, in, yeah, in real life, that's so weird to say. They're dating, oh my god, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, and then on the 17th I marked in NCT 127's comeback because they had their third full album which the title track was really weird and like first listen I was kind of like, wow, this is horrible and I kind of hate this and then like after listening to it a few times, the, the surprise wears off and you kind of start to like it. It's so weird how that works, but I did really enjoy the album. It's definitely on my wish list of things to buy. Um, and then I also marked in Sex Education Season 3, which I just finished and I kind of didn't like it as much as the previous season, so we'll see if it gets to Season 4. Um, I marked in my order from my US arriving on the 18th because it was technically supposed to arrive on the 17th and I missed the FedEx delivery because, of course, it had to be delivered after I went to work. Um, so my mum ended up picking it, picking it up on the Saturday because they left it at the news agent because our local news agent is like a FedEx collection point, I guess. Um, I also marked in my Vicky bill and driving. And then what else did I mark on this side of the spread? I marked in that Itzy is having their comeback tomorrow, which is very exciting. Um, and then I think I marked in Spring Begins, which I think here I was struggling because the deco wasn't cut correctly, so I had to kind of cut it out with scissors. But yeah, and I used the Spring Begins sticker, which I believe is from Planet Choco. So yeah, um, and then I marked in after planning um, that I have driving on the 28th, and then after filming, 
like today, I kind of just marked this in. I marked in Blood and Water Season 2, which is actually tomorrow because I forgot to mark that down. And um, that I also have a hair consultation on the 30th because I am hopefully dyeing my hair orange, um, which is something that I have wanted to do for a while. Like a coppery orange, not like fluoro neon orange, but yeah. So those were the things that I added um, after the fact, which is what you'll see like on the thumbnail and in my Instagram post. But yeah, here is the finished spread. I did add the deco in, which looks really janky because it, for some reason, the sheet wasn't cut properly. Um, I checked the October one that I have and the October one is fine. So I think it might've just been this one for some, for some reason. And um, obviously like I didn't notice until I filmed because I, you know, only just received this the other day because um, I did forward it to myself, you know? So anyways, it wasn't a big deal and I could cut everything out with stickers with scissors, what am I trying to say? And then I did add in some like extra um, deco, foil deco that I believe is from Miss and Meow, I think. Um, but yeah, so here's what I mean by the deco sheet. I ended up having just to cut out the deco. Um, and then I did use some deco on my notes pages, so I'll just quickly show that here, as well as some extra boxes that were in the kit. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Baby, I'm not no good. I'm not no good. I'm not no good. I'm not no good.